It's a lot of nines going on here. And it just keeps getting my attention since I posted this. And I'm like, all right, well, let's just, when that happens, when I keep getting tapped on the shoulder, if you will, to pay attention to something and to look at it again and again and again, it's for a reason. I'm not an obsessive person unless I'm supposed to be. And then usually once I check off the boxes of what I was supposed to do, it's over, it's done, and I'm I'm over it. <laughs> it's like we went through the, the motions kind of thing. Okay, so with that said, I just looked up angel number 999. And if you've been listening to my podcast and following things on my Instagram, even seeing my website and I published it and then I took it down because I was making changes and I just wanted, I didn't want to have it up the way that it was, but, and I moved some stuff around, but there's a lot of information there about how light workers are the nines. And, and that means that they are of an elite um, group of divine souls who have gone through many incarnations and and got to this point to be incarnated at this time to work here. And we're referred to as the nines on the other side. And as time goes on, we'll be referring to each other and ourselves as a nine. And that just means that um, again, we are here as light workers. It's it's a sole mission kind of thing to be of service in whatever different ways that we might um, might here be here to do. And that's usually for us it, it means more than one thing. We'll take different paths along our journey, so it doesn't just mean one thing. Although we will have certain focuses or certain passions that are associated with our lives mission or soul mission, uh, program and, and prime, look, we'll have prime missions and then submissions. So like for me, I have, I have a, a few prime missions actually, but, um, currently I'm running on, on two main prime missions and a couple sub prime missions currently. So, and that's in the physical, in, in the astral and in spirit form, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay. So going to sacred scribes, angel numbers dot blogspot dot com, which is Joanne's, uh, Joanne's sacred scribes website. So if you go to Google and you put in angel number nine, 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 a few things will pop up. But, uh, and you can follow your guides, go where you're being guided, but where I typically go and where I am guided, unless I'm guided somewhere else, but typically this is where I go. So this is what she says about angel number 999. Number 999 is comprised of the vibrations of number nine appearing tripled, amplifying and magnifying its power influences. So an extremely powerful number, 999. Number nine resonates with the universal spiritual laws, a higher perspective, influence, benevolence, and altruism. Nonconformity, leading life as a positive example for others, influence, a higher perspective, and expansive viewpoint, duty and calling, strength of character, philanthropy, humanitarianism, and light working in uh, highlighted. So we'll get back to that. Number nine also denotes endings and conclusions. And this did come up in the reading today uh, towards the beginning, actually. Angel number 999 brings a message that certain aspects of your life are coming to a close and or an important phase or cycle is ending. Trust that this is happening for karmic 
reasons which will become evident in the very near future. It is clearing the way for you to fully pursue your life purpose and soul mission as your soul's destiny dictates. As your soul's destiny dictates. Trust that all the information, guidance, and assistance you will need upon your path will be supplied by the angels and universal energies. Angel number 999 is a strong message to fully devote yourself to your life's mission without delay. Listen to the guidance from the angels if feeling any fears or doubts about your life path. And a lot of people will be feeling doubts and fears and being overwhelmed and not knowing what to do or what direction to go into. And we get into that in this full moon reading as well.